Threat gets real. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Battle Los Angeles. Forget digital cameras. This is gritty old school filmmaking. Just as Neil Blomkamp created a realistic portrayal of aliens stranded on Earth, here another South African filmmaker, Jonathan Liebsman, creates a realistic portrayal of aliens invading Earth. Now, aliens have come knocking on Earth's door before, most notably in this film's obvious predecessor, Independence Day. But there, humanity rallied against a faceless villain, and our victory was quick and decisive. This time, Liebsman is thinking more along the lines of Spielberg's immersive D-Day depiction in Saving Private Ryan. Yes, these aliens have ranking officers, medics, and use battle tactics rather than special effects blitzes. Battle Los Angeles is the first battle in a war, which in Hollywood speak is a franchise. But our audience is interested in such a bleak scenario. The realistic District 9 fared well at the box office, but the fantastic ID4 was a runaway hit. Then again, so was 2012, a film that was certainly bleak and a little fantastic. So where will Battle Los Angeles fall? Sony is trying to increase the film's chances of success by getting it out in front of the summer pack, and movies can make a lot of money in March. Question is, can this one do so with no big stars, no 3D, and no major special effects? Well, actually, scratch that last one, as Battle Los Angeles was actually filmed in Louisiana. Nice to see that Hollywood magic can still be subtle. The critics are blitzing this movie. They say it's horrible. It's, it's, it's retarded. I'd say that I'd honestly have to agree with them. Oh, yeah? It's a somewhat boring movie rather than just bad movie. I didn't think it was that bad. I think it was the typical, you know, alien attack in a sight movie, but I think the way they put it together, was, it was put together real well. In terms of plausibility, yes. In terms of razzle-dazzle action, it's, uh, it's hard to beat. When we looked at the movie, what was wrong with it? <laughs> it was a great movie. I want to say it was the best sci-fi action movie I ever saw. It's not an awful movie. It's a good war movie. It's more war and combat than science fiction. Would you say overall you liked this movie? Yeah. Uh, somewhere in the middle. I liked it personally. I've always liked movies like this. It kind of reminded me of District 9. Bland. Um, there's no storyline. It's about they're trying to make a combat war movie out of the aliens. You see the aliens a few times. The script, I don't think it was well written. The actors, somewhat of a nominal performance. It all just seems to be a standard. Yeah, we're not going to leave one man behind. We'll always go back for them. It has a real plot and it has great top of the best Marines and real alien war going on. How did you feel about the realism of the film? That's what I liked about it. You know, I'm a foreign veteran myself. Of oh, course. yeah? Oh, yes, so I am. did they do a good job depicting that then? Do you think it was. Marine wise, to me, they did, yes. I was in armed forces myself. I liked the way we stood up and, you know, and fought in the movie. It would be a good movie to recruit uh, people into the military. I also noticed one thing that. Uh, the director seems to like handheld cameras. Yeah. Even with close-ups, there's a heck of a lot of that. When you don't have any content and you want action, yeah. they just jerk the oh, camera. Uh, oh, is it hard you to know, watch? It's, it's real hard to watch. It was a pretty good movie. It's If you like war movies, it's a war movie. Oh, if okay. you're really into sci-fi, then you might want a little more. As far as the alien type movies, there needed to be a little bit more to go with it. I was looking for a little bit more. Actually, I wanted it to be longer. Thank you, I got it at a $6 price, or I'd have been upset. If you've got nothing better to do, you need to kill some time, watch it. I say definitely go see it. I would, right. I would recommend to go see it. It's a good movie. Go see it. Okay. It's, I don't know what the critics are talking about, right? I don't understand it. What would you give it on a 1 to 10? 10. 10. 6. 5. I'd give it an 8. I'd give it an 8. I'd give it a 7. 8. I'd say about an 8. I'd give it a minus, minus 1. So Battle Los Angeles is far from a clear victory as audiences overall give the movie a 7. And we're out here every week covering every major release, so be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AMC Empire 25, and I hope you'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.